hello guys how are you doing in our today's video we will see how to produce 3d surface from digital elevation model by using server now we will see how to produce 3d model so uh, the first point is we will produce contour map from digital elevation model as this so within this contour map we can change the color we can change the interval the maximum and the minimum values are there the 15 meter interval are here so we can edit uh, a contour map that is generated from digital elevation model we can fit the contour like this and also we can produce the water shades the water shade from uh, digital elevation model here is the digital elevation model so uh, we can generate the software by itself generate a number of water shades so uh, we should have to filter it we should have to arrange it to uh, a more larger water shade like this can add the number so this one is better and also uh, we can we can uh, make the, sh the the color like green color so this is how to how we produce the water shade from a uh, digital elevation model you can also arrange the line property of the stream orders you can add the thickness of the stream to make it be more visible so uh, here is how can how we can make the the uh, width of the line more visible so the other one is the 3d surface this 3d surface is also produced from a digital elevation model like this so here we have 3d surface that is produced from a digital elevation model so here is the topographic view or three-dimensional view of the area so here under 3d view we can arrange the point is can change the shade color and also uh, to make it more visible you can do it like this then uh, we should have to arrange the contour and the water shade should overlay the 3d uh, the 3d uh, surface so here you can uh, leave the contour without feel and also uh, we can take the contour map all to the 3d surface just like this and also uh, we will take the water shade the water shade onto the 3d surface to make it more visible here is the contour map added on the 3d surface so i can also take the water shade here like this at the top of the 3d surface yes there we can have the contour map the water shade and the 3d surface together for our area we can arrange the, sh the shape and the size so here to make it more visible we can add the color or we can minimize the uh, uh, capacity and no, i mean opacity of the color and also we can add the stream thickness to make it more visible it is the way how we can make the, the base the base of the 3d surface on the x and the y coordinate and make it black just like this so we can just to can change the color no this one is good i think so <clears throat> this is the the base of the 3d surface the in the x and the y direction so uh, we can label a northing direction and also the easting direction here clicking on the x and y coordinate and the x coordinate you can edit here the title as easting and again can add the color scale bar to the three dimensional color scale here yeah like this and 3d you can add the height you can use a height or just to make it more visible to the layout so 
here we can uh, arrange we can arrange the page into the landscape design make it more open space so like here so uh, there is a color scale the legend bar for the topography topographic view of the area so you can add the opacity of color to make it more visible look like this make it more visible this one is better i think so here is how you can mm, make the water shade more visible on the area so this 3d topographic view or 3d surface contains the top contour to indicate the elevation variation and the water shade to indicate the flow duration so here you can label uh, the color scale bar as elevation in meter the variation of elevation from the bottom to the top so here from 500 to 300 intervals are the elevation of the area here you can name the title of the map as 3d view of the steady area this topographic surface that shows 3d variation so we can also add the color bar i mean the scale bar scale bar to the map to indicate how uh, the scale is looking so this one is the scale bar of the 3d view so we can arrange the layout of this map and also uh, we can group these together in order to keep them all element to move together we can group here and also uh, we will add the rectangle to add a net line just like this so now we can export our map to uh, our external disk so uh, 3d view of the steady area 3d view of the area we can save then here we can make the pixel size 600 to make it more clear here is the final exported map of the area you can see it looks like this one here is the 3d view of the steady area thank you for attending me subscribe to my channel to get more videos on how to work with different geophysical software thank you